Sustainable Concrete Construction, the Burlington Performing Arts Center in Burlington. Would the following please come forward? City of Burlington, Diamond Schmidt Architects, CH2M Hill, Bird Construction, and Hamilton Ready Mix Limited. Congratulations. Sorry, I'm not sure that was water. The Burlington Performing Arts Center is currently one of two performance centers in North America to achieve a lead gold, and the first in Ontario to reach that goal. The extensive use of cast-in-place concrete was a significant factor in the sustainability aims of the project. Secondly, the use of concrete in the Performing Arts Center has contributed to excellent acoustics and the intimate feel of the audience spaces. In addition, the use of textured concrete provides a robust contrast to the finer grained wood lined interior of the main auditorium and creates a strong sense of craftsmanship and durability. The main theater is designed for exemplary sight lines and provides the technical infrastructure for the most demanding performances. Would a member like to come forward? Yeah, we're breaking protocol here a bit too, so thank you. Uh, it's a great honor for the City of Burlington. We'd uh, like to uh, thank the judging committee as well for, for bestowing that honor. Um, it was a great team that uh, put this project together. Uh, we all know in uh, in an owner-contractor-consultant relationship, the owner is probably the worst player in that uh, relationship. So this team came together to get this project done uh, on time and on budget. It was a complicated project, and we appreciate uh, Bird Construction, Diamond Schmidt Architects, MHPM project managers, and as well as our community volunteers that worked on this. Um, this the facility opened last year, and it housed over 60,000 people into downtown Burlington. This past year, there was over 80,000. So if you have a chance to check out the web website or come to Burlington, please uh, enjoy the facility. Thank you. My name is John Souls. I'm with Diamond Schmidt Architects. Um, we had, thank you very much for this award. Um, the... Um, the project had five stated aims at the beginning. One was to create a cultural facility uh, for music and theater in, and public events to support culture and tourism and urbanism in uh, the core of uh, Burlington. In year one, there were over, uh, sorry, in year two, there were over 80,000 visitors. Um, the second aim was uh, to um, have uh, a sustainable building. And we were to obtain uh, LEED certified. Um, we failed miserably in this, and we achieved LEED gold. Um, the, the third aim was to redevelop an unu unused element of the urban fabric of Burlington. And um, it was a very challenging site. We remediated the uh, soils, and um, that, that was contaminated by um, uh, some oil byproduct. And... Um, uh, there was an innovative, sustainable system for actually cleaning the groundwater that was coming through the site. And um, um, the fourth was to build a very durable building. And um, um, we had the benefit of working with a, um, um, a, a durability um, <clears throat> specialist that worked for the city of uh, Burlington, Mr. Dave Yocana, who's uh, in the... Um, uh, group at, uh, to my left. Um, the building was 60% um, more efficient than the national um, energy model, and that's not based on our model design, but on um, two years of after construction, um, um, you know, uh, bills from uh, energy usage. Um, the fifth was accessibility. We received the accessibility award in uh, 2012. And um, the sixth was acoustics. 
concrete was a very important aspect in all of these things, really. Um, and um, it, it helped us um, achieve acoustic isolation quality, um, heat retention for um, energy um, efficiency. Um, we developed an innovative way to um, insulate the foundation wall to have insulation go continuously from a cavity wall construction into the foundation without a cold bridge. And this saves an estimated 20% of heat loss in the building. And this is uh, something that we've developed over four projects and this is the, uh, the, the most current uh, iteration. And we continue to uh, investigate new ways to try and build this. It's not an easy thing to build. Um, <clears throat> we used, the concrete uh, was used to, um, uh, uh, was using slag as an aggregate instead of, um, you know, uh, virgin um, stone that's, uh, you know, taken from the grounds in uh, Ontario. And um, it supported the local economy. Um, the craftsmanship of the formwork and the concrete, a lot of it's not available to see uh, by the public because it's in the back of house, but there is some of it's uh, a major component of the, um, the performance space. Um, the craftsmanship is really wonderful, and um, it's one of those things where you, you talk to a builder in, in Ontario and you realize that they have a lot of knowledge and that if you can somehow not work at odds but try to um, get the best out of people, uh, they get the best out of us and vice versa. You get a really wonderful uh, result and uh, we're very grateful for working with those people. Um, the, uh, I would like to say um, thank you to Craig Stevens from the City of Burlington who managed the project from their perspective. Dave Yokana, the city, city um, specifications um, um, uh, specialist, MHPM project managers, in particular Gordon Kak and Deepu Bellaraman. Um, from uh, CH2M Hill, formerly Hulk Royalis, Neb Irakovic and Terry Dawson and Phil Jones. Um, also Mike Buckley from Halsell, who was uh, the reviewer from the City of Burlington's um, building department. We'd like to say thank you. Um, Bird Construction Company, um, here are um, Mayar Tavasoli, uh, the estimator. Socio Pareta, who was the project manager. Um, Bob Johnston, who, their site superintendent, possibly the most complicated job on the planet. And um, they deserve a lot of respect. And uh, he was one of the best. Mark Farrow, who was um, the, managed the lead um, part of the project. Vlastimir uh, Spasiovic who was the uh, project, um, one of the project managers. Um, Swan and Associates, um, they were the former contractors and in particular we um, remember Al Swan who uh, passed away and his, his family continues to run the company. Um, excellent people to work with, we, we enjoyed every, every moment of it. Hamilton Ready Mix, Roger Truman. CNT reinforcing Sam Costa and uh, testing coffee testing. I would also like to th to thank um, uh, our intern uh, Eric Lucasen, who is here with us tonight. He's um, now a member of the Ontario Association of Architects. Uh, he went through the design and through construction, which is a, a big part of our company, is to. You know, if you're going to design something, you, you need to stand up for it on the site and make sure that you understand how things get built so the next time around you, you know more and you can um, work together as a team better. So uh, this is an uh, appreciation for the contractors that we work with in Ontario. I think they're the best. Thank you very much.